We, we told all the max Just to throw the semis Riding around in traffic with a 50 on my sticky Try and play with flexing your ass might end up a 50 These niggas kitty kitty fuck with me and end up missing Confused why tough keep talking about a fucking Rico case so I Alright guys, welcome back to another 3 champ video. I just want to say guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe before the video starts. If you guys don't agree, then you know, it's alright guys. It's a feeling. Everybody has their own opinion. You know, mine's, mine's more right than y'all's to be honest. I'm joking, I'm joking. Or people get mad in the comments. But, um, I mean, people are going to get mad anyways. I'm, I'm going to put like the favorite blood line in like A or B or uh, like A or B. I'm going to put something different they think is the best. And be like, dude, there's no way you think that blood, you know. It's whatever. <laughs> it's opinions. Um, but um, anyways, guys. Um, yeah, let's get. I already like kind of started. Um, I recorded the first part, but you know, I'm just gonna take it out. But um, I'll just explain my reasoning. Uh, Crystal. These are all you know the common bloodlines. You know, not all. Well, Scorch isn't common actually. Scorch is still trash. <laughs> but um, Scorch is not common, but it's still kind of trash. Low key, high key is trash. But um, yeah, as you can see, here it is, Crystal. Uh, I guess Scorch is about this. No, Ice it has Freeze at least. Crystal is decent for combos. Um, these all are uh, these all got buffed though, cause you know you can use them in the F, G, and H slots. So, you know that's good, that's good, that's good. Um, so yeah, these are the reasons. Y yeah, y'all know, y'all know. Okami really not that good. Um, this it does have decent stun, but while you're stunning them, you can't do anything else. It's just like the dog stunning them. Sound doesn't really do anything. Lava used to be good for Tilted Beast, but now it's not. I mean, burn damage, I guess. Send call, uh, you know, you're fast. You get the little time stop for a little while. This Sage Mode has a lot of stun. You can combo into it. That's really good. Uh, Genjutsu, slow dragon, though. So it's, eh. I was debating putting this in uh, C, to be honest. Glacier, it's, again, slow dragons. But um, the mirror move is good, and then it freezes you, obviously. Um, and then this one again freezes you, but um, you, you have to have like two at least two uh, slots to use it effectively. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess you could have the first move, but if you want to use the, the other two, you're gonna need to have the first move equiped. You can't like choose, or you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that's where I'm at so far in the tier list. Uh, she's in she's in still C, it's it's a C tier bone line. Um, it's, it's solid, it's solid. I've seen some pretty sick sand combos, so we're gonna put that in B. Honestly, I think Gold Sand's a little worse now, to be honest. Um, Sand has combos now. Again, G, all the Z specs you can put in your G and H. So, uh, G, G, F, and H, I believe. Um, I mean, people have different controls, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Sand is definitely good. Atomic? Atomic's been used for combos. I've been seeing Atomic Glove for combos. It definitely has good combo potential. Um, a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Uh, psh, Bone? Bone's not that good, to be honest. Bone's pretty trash. Honestly, just to fill up D tier, we're gonna put it in D tier. Doesn't really do anything. Uh, the last move is good for Toad Beast, though. But no stuns or nothing. It's just kind of damage, you know? It's, it's just kind of there. Uh, let's see, let's see. Iron Sand. Iron Sand. Just because of the last move, we'll put in C as the Iron Floor, which just stunned your opponent. So that's good. I don't know if that's the last move, but that, that move specifically. Same with this on Storm. Storm's not that good either, but you know, stuns. Electricity has stuns, you know what I'm saying? Any stun move is gonna be solid, at least. Paper, you know, I'm a fan of how paper looks, but to be honest, it's not that good. It's 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 cool, it looks really cool. But it's not that good, no stuns, just like, okay damage, I guess. You can fly with it though, that's a positive. You can fly, but you can fly with a lot of other stuff now. So nothing special. Um. Black Storm is pretty much just. These two are pretty much the same thing, to be honest. Uh, Bolt. We'll put Bolt in B. And that's how big, like, AoE and stun. Bolt is solid. Bolt is definitely solid. Um, Minakami. Minakami. Minakami just got recently updated. Has a lot of poison in it. Uh, every time you attack, or the last move, like, drops a little poison bomb. Let's see if I can show you guys. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know that it got updated. Uh, so let me just go into Clan Bloodlines. We'll go into Minakami. Uh, oops. Where's Minakami at? Right here? I'd like to show you guys. Um, see if this is updated. Oh, they don't have the updated version. But they added like Salisbury's Puppet, right? Oh uh, yeah, you get this little uh, beam. This is the M1's. 
The last one was pretty trash, though, I'm not gonna lie. But you get a lot of poison with it. You get a lot of poison. You combine that with stun, you're looking solid. You're looking solid. It's not B tier, it's, it's, defi it's definitely C. It's definitely C. I'll probably put it like right here or something. Right here, right here is fine. Um, are these really. Are these really. I'll put this high D to be honest. I'm not really rocking with these like that, like that. You know? We'll put this one. We'll put this here. Crossfire, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad, but. The AoE fur is not even that big to be honest. Um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. But this does help you get out of, it's utility, it does help you get out of, I mean, you can use an auto dodge though. This does help you get out of combos. The F move, the F move. Ah, that's alright. We'll just keep it there for the far, Frost Fire fans, alright. We'll do a little bit of fan service, alright. Shadow is next. Uh, Shadow has good stun. It's solid stun. You can't really do anything while you're doing them though. Like, whenever you have them locked down, you can't attack after. You're just like there, right? So 2v2s is good, but anything else, I mean... Nah, they can auto dodge to get out. They can block. They can dodge. It's not that. It's not the best. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Inferno. Inferno. We'll put Inferno in B tier. Um, no stun, but good damage. Good. It's on Matarasi, so it's gonna. It's obviously gonna have high damage, right? Um, again, E F J H spots. No mode though. So um, we'll put a one below. Cause these guys all can be used for combos. This one, it's more like a combo ender. I mean, it does. Oh. Inferno style is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I'll put it above that. I'll put it above that. You know what I'm saying? Me, bro, I'm, don't sleep on these combos, bro. Don't sleep on these combos. Uh, next is Azarashi. All right. This is a solid C tier for me as well. I would say it's better than Shadow. It's a way better than Shadow. It's actually better than this too. It's better than this as well. I think it's like here, to be honest. Azarashi is pretty good. It's kind of slept on, to be honest. You get good stuns. It does. The hand signs are kind of, are pretty long. Once you get the hand size bar, you get a really easy combo bar where they like stunned in place. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, Karda next. Um, solid D tier. Top of D tier. Top of D tier. Big AoE. It's a fun. It's definitely fun to use. I like it. The human, the human voter. Nah, it's like no stun though. No stuns on the move. But you're really fast. I'll put a low C. Low C. Um, you get a humor boulder. You can run around. You get to punch people and stuff. It's it's a fun KG. It's a fun KG for sure. Uh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, next we have Saberu. Let me check the stats on this before I actually, uh, before I actually give it a proper ranking. I do want to see the stats on it. Mm, okay, okay. Saberu is C tier. Saberu is definitely C tier. It's not. It's nothing. It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing too crazy. It's really. It's like a combination of Obito Sharingan, but worse, and like Kakashi's like what you think you'd have in the show, like Lightning Blade, Shadow Clone, stuff like that. It's it's really not that good. It's it's like you can literally make this with other stuff. Like you could add Shadow Clones for yourself. You can get auto dodge. Or, like it's just it's just literally just worse Obito Sharingan. In every way, I don't know why I did it. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, next, we'll go with uh, Explosion. Explosion is still a C tier. It used to be really good, but it got nerfed. Um, I'll put it in B tier actually. For how hard it is, like when you like flying and stuff. Mm. Nah, C C. It's definitely C. You're hard to hit with the second move. Same with the last move too. You get like a big AOE bomb. It's pretty cool. Um, and then the for the mode, you get on this dragon where you can like shoot your M1s out, and uh, it does drain a lot of stamina in mode though. I think it just changed stamina actually. But it drains a lot, so it's not that good anymore. But for a while, you could like a while ago, you could like stay on the train for a long time. Next, we have Ash style. Um, Ash is really high C. It's high C, um, especially for one of you ones. You can put your opponent in like a corner. The last move, you can like put your opponent in a corner, and then uh, just like keep them like stunned up. And then you have the Monkey King, which uh, makes your one v one or a two v one, to be honest. And it did have an OP combo. It still does, I'm pretty sure. Where like uh, you can uh, use bubble and then. Uh, when they're stunned in the bubble, you can use your uh, Q spec, and uh, it'll do like a whole bunch of damage. Actually, it did like 400k. I don't know if it's on the game, so I, I won't. I won't take it into account. Um, next, we have bubble B tier, a whole bunch of stun. I know you guys know bubble. A lot of people use it. Same with one Izame, whole lot of stun. Ah, this has yeah. We'll put it in B tier. It does have a whole lot of stun. These both stuns are crazy. 
Um, same with Dongon. Dongon, Dongon's a little crazier though. Dongon, I put Dongon in A. Get out word of all the water stuff. Um, Dongon's a little bit better, I feel, because um, the mode it has a better mode. Um, it has two like bubble moves. Or right, does it have three? Let me let me check real quick. Let me check real quick. Uh, I'm trying to think. I know two of them get you the bubble or whatever. And then oh, one of them's like one of them works as an auto dodge. Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. Yeah, one of them does work as an auto dodge, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, next we have Joshin. Joshin, another A tier bloodline. A lot of stun. Heal yourself. One of the best. Do uh, I don't know. It's kind of slow. It's a. It's counter slow, but you gain a lot of health from doing it. So it's good for one of the ones. Um, let's see, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. Hair is S tier. Hair is S tier. Bro, it's it's crazy how good it is. The C, one of the best C specs in the game. One of the uh, best uh, B. The second move is really good. Stuns your opponent. It looks really cool as well. All right, enough said about that. Enough said about that. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Asimsenko. Asimsenko. Uh, another A tier bloodline. Nah, B tier. We'll put Asim in B tier. Um, just so I don't get it confused. Because I know they changed it a while ago. So let me just check. Let me just check. Let me just check. Let me just check. Asim, Senko. Alright. You do get a mode. You get a nice auto dodge. You get a nice stun on this move. And then teleport. Nice, nice, nice. Let me, let me just see. Yeah. Time stop. You teleport like that. This, this Really what carries us is the second move right here. The time jump. Obviously, good auto dodge, basic. It's, a, it's just solid. It's just solid. It's solid, but better. It's always better than Senko, so that's why I'm gonna put it uh, a tier above it because it's just better. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, Biakon. I almost forgot that. Uh, it's still a B tier. It's a B tier. It's a B tier. Uh, psh, like key or B tier though. I say it's better than these. Hmm. I want to say it's better than Shiz, to be honest. I'll put it in a C tier. Um, it, it, it's just good. It's just good, but I wouldn't say it's as good as this uh, in B tier. You know what I'm saying? You do get a nice little combo with it with the uh, the first and second, the first and last move, last and first move. You do the 64 try games and then the air palm. Good combo. And then the B move and visibility frames. Really good. Really good. Actually, I might put it above here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I, that's how I get. Maybe top of C. Nah, nah. Senko is way useful now. It's way too useful now. Um, next. We have is Ink. Ink will probably ass done, ass done, and that one's are really toxic. Ink, uh, you have invincibility frames with like uh, the move, like get on like the animal or whatever. I don't know what animal it is, and then you get a stun move where you can combo off of it, and then your M ones can like interrupt. Them ones are really good. Like whenever people are doing hand signs, you can use your M ones. They don't interrupt them, and it's really good. Really good, really good, really good. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's good. Concho, Concho is definitely B tier. All right, it would be A if you couldn't like if you like if it had like actually good block block break, then it would be probably S tier to be honest. But mm, I'll put it top of A, top of A, or top of B, top of B. Um, what holds this bloodline back is uh, you can block everything, but um, I guess if you set up a block break uh, before, then yeah. Then yeah, yeah, I'll put it in. A. I'll put it in. A. What the, this bloodline gens all your mode and chakra, bro, or not your mode? It gens all your chakra, bro. Like you literally can't do anything, and it sends you for so long. The combos into itself, it's really good, really good, really good, really good. Um, next we have Shisen. Shisen. Um, Shisen is a. You mind control your opponent. If you're getting jumped, they attack each other, and then your last move is like a kunai move. And then the C spec, the C spec is what really carries it. Is uh, I'll put it B. I don't, I don't think it's A, bro. This last movie, you just get a free combo, bro. We get like a, uh, it looks like a uh, what's his name, Biakuya's uh, Bankai, like does a little flower petal stuff, and like uh, it's pretty cool. Or is it a Shikai? I forget. It's one of those. But um, yeah, I think I'm not sure if I wanted to B or A, because uh, the C spec definitely carries it. Nah, 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 it's it's A. It's lower. It's gonna be lower A if anything. Um, next, let's get into the S tiers. Get all the good Biakugan. The uh, good, 
god specs are um what's it what are they called kage specs all right personally i'd probably have the list go like this i like gold Byakun. these are all like interchangeable but i like gold Byakungan the most um this is pretty good as well i like this one raiken shizen uh the second but the, the first and second move, definitely a really good combo. They combo into each other, and then you have the last move to like escape wherever. Uh, this one, invincibility frames go to Byakugan, good invincibility frames. Uh, you're just going goaded the whole time. Uh, again, these first two moves combo into each other. Uh, they take a lot of chakra and they have long cooldowns, but they do so much damage that it's worth it. And then I feel like Dio's Senko is the worst because it doesn't really combo each other. I mean, it kind of does, but it's people who really just use it for the time stop, to be honest. So, um, yeah, Kenichi S tier, easy S tier, auto dodge, Taijutsu, uh, doesn't, barely takes any chakra, just stamina, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Vine, I'll put Vine in A tier, um, it is really, really good, it's almost kind of like, it really is a, uh, it really is kind of S tier to be honest. The vines stun your opponent. You guys don't know how OP. Bro, check out the video that's on screen now, bro. The vines are OP. I'm telling you, bro. Don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep. And you can bait people in with your B spec. You would think people would like uh, fall for it, but you can definitely bait people. They're like dot rushing at you. You can use your B and then use Jutsus at the same time. You can use your Jutsus while you use your auto dodge. It's really OP. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into the Sharingans now. Um. They're all at least A tier with their perfect Susanos. The Susanos are just too OP. You know what I'm saying? Susanos, OP. I don't know, so you play like this. And then, no. Here, basic Kuma. Uh, bro, do I really have to explain? You guys know what these Sharing Guns do. Auto Dodge, Genjutsu, Susano. What else do you need? All right. Amaterasu. That's basic Kuma. Akumo, Akuma. Alright, uh, what's this? Forge? Forge? Uh, Kamui's Toxic. That's all I have to say. We're moving on. We're moving on. Uh, Rayon is next. Rayon is still A tier. Um, I'll probably put it up. No, no not about Josh. Yet. You get uh, Susano, like Blaze Control. It has better stuns. Um, with the Lightning. It has an actually really good auto dodge. It like, makes your opponent fall on the floor. Um, again, Susano, actually, I probably would put this above Joshi. But, and, uh, what else? What else? What is it? I'm trying to think of what the moves got. The Susano Flame Control thing. I think that's, yeah, it's called Susano Flame Control. Pretty good. It's, it's, it's really good. It's really good. Y'all know, know this. Y'all know this. Alright, S tier Susanos. Uh, Bankai and Satori. You can kind of, these go back in hand to hand, alright? Uh, the last move for Satori is really good with the Q spec. Both really good. This drains your mode. Amaterasu, really good. No hand signs. Uh, both OP auto dodges. Satori has two. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of crazy. It's just kind of crazy. I would put Riser above both of these. The last move just does so much damage. And really, Riser is just a better Bonkai. I'm not going to lie. Um, I personally favor Satori more than Bonkai. I'm not going to lie. But that's just my uh, thing. Uh, these really are the same. But you know, we, we, had to, we had to pick a side. You know what I'm saying? Um, next is Renshiki. Renshiki, I'll put above these, above this. Yeah, I'll put above the Susanos, alright. Renshiki does a lot of damage with the Spirit Bombs. Um, has a, mo has a move where it, like, uh, blocks on blocks everything. It work works out as an auto dodge, but you actually benefit because you gain Chakra. Um, let me see everything you gain. Let me, so, let me just double check everything you gain. Uh, I have the lines. Check the last one. The last one. Uh, yeah, you just put right. Uh, making a means replenishes their key. All right, yeah, just their key, and uh, yeah, it, it drains your stamina though. So that's the only downside. But um, yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid with the spear bomb stuff. The spear bomb stuff is what carries it. Um, psh, let me look at the stats actually. Nah, nah, I can't say it's better than Rayon. The Susano is just too OP on that one. Um, next. We have the, we'll get into the god specs, which we're already on pretty much. Uh, Ten Goku, really good. I would put it above. Uh, uh, nah, not above Kanichi. Maybe above Gold Byakugan. Sure, no, 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 no. 
no. I think I like this a little bit better. I, I just, I'm a, fa I'm a big fan of both Yaku. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm a big fan of both Yaku Young and Kenichi. These, these top three, I'm a big fan of. All right, I use them a lot. Um, so yeah. Uh, Tengoku. Oh, let me get into this one. Rengoku is really good still. I'll put these. Some people say Rengoku is better. Some people say it's worse. I personally think it is a little worse. Um, just because the mode is actually really good though. Actually, you can combo into it. Yeah, yeah, but these orbs. The, the, I forgot. Weren't you guys orbs that uh, whenever you hit them, they seal you up? So they both have sealing moves. This one has like a dodge type of thing counter. Something. This one absorbs. Um, but you have to choose. It has more versatility. Not really though. Not really. Yeah, yeah. I, I do like Rinchik a little bit more. It has a. Uh, with uh, with the uh, Rin, Rin Goku, you do have to choose like choose between your uh, C specs. You have like the six pass. You have the five pass technically. You have five modes. You have to choose between the five pass of pain. So um yeah, it's really it's really it's solid. It's solid, I guess. But I it's, it's good. It's good. Um, what's it called? Shinra. Shinra tends to deflect everything in the game, so that's good. Uh, Bonshin Tending drags you in for a combo. Again, really good, really good, really good. Uh, and then, um, you can still combo off of, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, Planetary Devastation. What's the Japanese name? Uh, Chibaku Tensei. Ch Chibaku Tensei, that's what it's called. Yeah, so you can combo pretty much off of everything off of this. It's pretty good. Ah, uh, I don't, I don't. Nah, nah. I'm gonna go with my heart, bro. I feel like Rinchiki's better. All right. Next, we'll have Sen Goku. Top three guys. These are the top three best bloodlines in the game, in my opinion. I know Sen Goku did get a nerf, so did Shindai, but their nerf really didn't affect them at all. All right. So, uh, Sen Goku. Well, S tier. All right, guys. It is S tier. Big mode. You already know what Sengoku does. Um, what? Amaterasu drags you and then does Amaterasu. Fits you up for a combo. It can like, combo anything. Uh, uh, combos into the first move. The uh, big, like, Susano Shidori. And then, what's the last move? Uh, you drop a meteor. Yeah. The auto dodge. The auto dodge, I meant. You have the auto dodge that drops a meteor on your opponent. Then you have the C spec, which dodges another meteor on your opponent. Then you have the Susano mode. Which, you know, you shoot the entrance arrow and then a Matarasu arrow. Uh, big damage all around, bro. Just super OP. Alright, guys. So, second place. No, 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 Boom! Spider. All right, guys. I know some people might be mad about this. I know y'all might not agree, but look, Shandai is the best. It is. It's still the best. Even with the nerf, it's still the best. All right, guys. But we'll, we'll explain Rayon Ren in a minute. Shandai Shen, is the best. Bro. Too many perfect Susano clones. Perfect Susano. Clo this doesn't even have a perfect Susano. So how's it gonna complete with like five Susano clones? Like you can make the perfect Susano clones with the V, and then you see the Limbo clones. Like, bro, that's just too many clones. What? Nobody's stopping that. And then Genjutsu, so you can't even see anything. Like, the biggest Genjutsu radius in the game. Like, what are you going to do, bro? Nothing. You're not going to do anything. I think you just have a giant sun just coming down. Just cuz. Just cuz. Just cuz. And then Q-Spec. Just a little slashy slash. Nothing too special about it. But it's, it's just the best, bro. It's literally just the best. You're just getting jumped by clones the whole time. Like, <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, then, yeah. Rayon Ren. Um, Rayon Ren works as a Z-Spec, which is really OP. Um, the reason that like if it if it uh worked as if it was like maybe uh if it was worked as a C spec maybe you could argue that um Shindai is worse, but like at the same time we can just use both. You can use both, so who really cares? You can use both at the same time. That's that's what makes uh you know this one so great. You know you can use it at the same time. Best C spec in the game, no discussion. Uh, first move. Let me just read it off. Because, um, I don't want to get anything wrong. Um, Rayon, Ren, Goku. Alright, guys. So, 
Ray Goku style and Frodo and Gage. Right, right. Listen, 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 listen. Vazier holds out their hands and pulls up nearby enemy towards them. It's like six of them in. Alright, Amaterasu. Or, uh, Chibaku Tensei Amaterasu. But he has a Naruto, if you've seen the final valley fight. The last one, alright. Uh, banishing replacement. By holding our uh, their respective button for the move, easier covers the right eye. While their left eye gives off a purple light and they emit black or afterwards the user clicks on the enemy and will instantly swap places with them leaving a blast of black flames and lightning in the original location which damages the swap enemy the user will fully the user is fully immune to the damage for the entire duration of this move alright so you just teleport your opponent quick move um just good damage just good damage um nothing too special about it you know the user left eye gives off purple glow this just stuns your enemy cast illusion nearby it is a it look People in the comments are trying to tell me it wasn't a Genjutsu, bro. It's a Genjutsu, Genjutsu. This damage, this damages the enemies while causing them to see themselves being impaled by the user with copy style lightning blaze, left affected by the illusion, and the recipient still can use attacks and abilities. That's what I'm saying. That's why I want to get right, cause like I thought the last one was an um, a Genjutsu, but people were like, no, it's a stun. It's a Genjutsu, bro. It's a Genjutsu. So, anyways, guys, um, I want to be mad if he thought Rayon was the best in the game. Um, it really doesn't bother me because he, again, he can use both. <laughs> so if you really wanted to, you could put them both up here. But you know, we we want a definitive best. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know somebody didn't 100% agree with this. A lot of you, maybe somebody did, but um, obviously, nah. There's no way somebody 100% agree. But um, with all these new ones, I'm not too confident. I think Inferno, nah, Inferno, it's good, it's good. Anyways guys, if you guys agreed uh, or liked it or even enjoyed the video, made it to the end. Now make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're trying 21k. Make sure to turn on post notification. Discord link below. If you're on mobile, copy the link, paste into Google Chrome or Safari. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace.